Welcome to day three of my first seven days in 2022 project. And today we have three powerful things to do. I just pray we finish it on time. We're doing importation with ease from China, stressless importation procedures, and we're setting up our payment gateways today, and we're creating our social links. And the social link is going to serve also as um, a kind of a landing page as well, receiving all our services. So let's 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 dive in. <laughs> importation is from China, and this is from my succeeding with importation course that I already have currently right now on my platform. So I'm selling it, but today is for free. <laughs> Let's go. So first of all, we need to understand what is importation. I'm going to be very fast because, I mean, majority of the things here, we already know what it is. Okay. So importation is bringing in goods or services into a country from another country for sale and for profit. So what you want to do is you want to sell a product or a service and you want to make a profit, okay? So um, this is the business of importation, okay? Um, you can import by air, you can import by sea. By air is usually faster, takes two to 14 days, and by sea, 90 to 120 days. What makes air shipping um, fast and slow? could be dependent on the product you're shipping by air. If you're shipping um, health-related products, it's not all products that are shipped directly to Nigeria. Some of them, they pass through Hong Kong and other, other places. So by sea or by air? And sea importation or sea shipping rate is calculated by cubic meter space. So if, if you're importing something that is heavy, heavy, heavy stuff, like you want to furnish your house and you want to import furniture, it's better to import by sea because they are not, they are not charging you based on the weight of the products. They are charging you based on the size of the product. Okay, but air shipping is calculated by the weight. Sea shipping is calculated by space that your product is occupying in the ship, in the container, okay? But air is calculated by weight. So if you're shipping something that is very heavy by air, you're gonna be, you know, spending a lot of money. But if you're shipping something that is light, but plenty, it's, it's plenty, like people that shipping attachments, attachments can be plenty, but it is not heavy. So those people are advised to ship by air because it's not as light, okay? But when you're shipping something that is, it might be small, but it is heavy, like liquids and anything heavy, you should go by sea because it's, it's, you know, space. But sea shipping takes time. It takes up to three months, 60 days, you know, depending on the routes it is passing through. So how does it work? First of all, research, for a product. Yesterday we did product research, checking if a product is on demand. Don't just say, I like this because I like a particular thing. That means you want to sell it. The fact that you like it does not mean that it is in demand. The fact that you like it does not mean other people are looking for it. Okay. In this market, it is the numbers. Data don't lie. Numbers don't lie. Your feelings might lie. Your emotions, your sentiments, what you're thinking might lie, but the numbers do not lie. So always do your research and validate the market. Then number two, know the most important thing. For me, the most important thing, we're gonna to get to all this in details, but the most important thing is your landing costs. Apart from it being in demand, the landing costs. You might see something online for $2, and you're very, very happy, man, this is $2. You start using that price you saw, you start using that price you saw on Alibaba or 1688 to make you know, your plans, but you've not included local shipping costs from the company to your shipper, from your shipper to Lagos, 
then clearing, then local shipping within Nigeria. So all these things are supposed to be factored into your pricing. If you use only the price you saw on 1688 and say, man, this is $2, it is cheap. If it comes, I'll sell it $5. But before it will land, you end up spending $7 bringing it in. Okay, so after you've found, you've done your research, you've checked the landing cost and you feel everything is okay, the next thing is to start looking for where to buy the product on different platforms, okay? It is always advisable that you, you I'm going to show you how you can check people that are verified and people you can buy from, people you can trust and people you cannot trust. Then there's the negotiation process. Don't just take the price you see online for it. You can chat them up, you can use WeChat, you can use WhatsApp, some of them are on WhatsApp, majority are on WeChat, you can chat them up and negotiate, especially if you are buying more than a required quantity. If you see price of one, you know, for $5, price of 1000 should be less than that, so you can negotiate with them. Then place a sample order. It is always important to ask for a sample you, some companies will tell you, um, some companies will tell you the sample, you don't pay for it. Some companies will tell you, you must pay for the sample, okay? Then have it checked by your partner career or forwarding agent and company. The, the sample does not have to come all the way to your home country. It doesn't have to come all the way to Nigeria. Your partner career company can receive it for you. Then you are now the one to be doing a video conversation with them and for them to check out the quality because most of them are also Nigerian companies. You can understand yourself better. You know, boy, I better help me check like this, check like this. Is it what we expect? before you order in mass, okay? Even after you order in mass, let it go back to your career. Let them check the quality and quantity assurance, okay? Is this quality, this quality that you sent to me, is it the same as the sample um, copy you sent, you know, when we are doing our check? And the quantity, if you ordered 1,000, let them check it in China, that is truly 1,000. Because if you now receive 990 in Nigeria, you have to now start paying extra to ship 10 and all that, okay? Once you've done your quality and quantity assurance, you can go ahead and ship, then you clear when it comes in here. So it seems like a very long procedure, a long process, but if you follow this entire process very well, you hardly will not lose your money. Why people are not succeeding with importation business is they don't follow the process. You just see something, ah, it's $2. Hey, if it comes, I'm going to sell you this amount. Bah, you start ordering. And when, it's not, when, you're, when your shipping company now calls you and tells you your product is here, come and pick it up. You need to use 250,000 to pick it up. You'll be wondering for what? Because you did not check the weight. You did not check the size. You did not check your landing cost. You just went to go and buy product because you saw it for $2 not knowing that you have to do all this, you know? So most people surprise gets, in fact, a lot of people at the point of clearing, they'll tell you they don't have money, they'll forget about the products, the products will waste because after some days, the company will, will trash it. After three days, if you don't come to clear your product, it will enter, it's called Jumari Jabi, and you start paying daily for keeping your products in their store. So a lot of things that people don't know, they just go and do importation and end up losing a lot of money, okay? So now, why do I need a career and forwarding agent or company? Sorry, that's a type, typo error. Now, I know I've had, I've said it before on day one, a lot of people will send me messages and say, how do I do importation um, without an agent? Do you teach how to import without an agent? And my questions, my response is usually, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to import without an agent? What, what are you trying to achieve? Because at the end of the day, this agent, if you use the right ones, if you use the good ones, or let me not say the good ones, because it's not about good based on trust. It's about good based on having a system, having a policy, having a structure, okay? So if you use the very serious corporate firms, to me, they are saving you more money. I mentioned a particular product I wanted to ship in or I'm going to ship in, okay? It's about $5 and they're like, they're going to help you get it cheaper. And if they help you get it cheaper, okay, it's $5. They're going to help you get it for $3. So you have to pay them extra $1, you know, so that they can, you know, 
check the whole thing for you, take the whole pain from you. So you're saving me $1 per product. $1 might look small, but when you start thinking about 5,000, 10,000 products, that's a lot of millions they are saving for you. So extra $1 for you for saving me that stress and reducing also my cost. I don't think it's too much to ask for. So number one, why do you need a, a Korea company you know, you don't have an international presence. You don't have an office in China who will help you check because not everybody on Alibaba is real. There are plenty of scammers there. So how do you know when you're talking to the real one or the fake one? You know, though there are ways to know, check their verification, check how many years they have been selling, check their review. Those are just little, little things you can use to to validate them. But if somebody tells you he's a manufacturer, meanwhile, he's a middleman, how are you going to verify that claim? So you need somebody who is on ground in China. You need an international presence that will help you do what you cannot do yourself. So it takes the whole stress away from you. The custom fees, the compliance, the legal custom, especially when you're bringing in products that need some kind of licensing and approvals. So the documentation of these companies will be what will cover you you know, for what you do not already have. So it is extremely more secure, it is faster, and it reduces your risk totally. So you basically go and sleep until your product arrives, you know, Lagos or wherever, and it comes. So my recommended company for, for you guys today is Spread It Global. It is, you know, people normally share affiliate links to companies that market, but for me, Spread It Global is a company I use. I use them for all my products that come from China. Okay, so I started using them. I was privileged to speak to their CEO at the end, at the end of the year 2021. We spoke one-on-one -on -one before now, it's always emails, emails. So amazing company doing things professionally and they are good, okay? They take the stress off you. So I'm not marketing spreading global, but they are good. I'm gonna go into their website to show you how, how it works. So the spreading global website, it's just spreadeatglobal.com, okay? I'm gonna send the link on the group that you can use to sign up for spreading global. If using my affiliate links just makes me to, monitor your process for me to know that yes you are with spread it global so if there are any issues i can always come in between but it doesn't really matter if you don't need that service just go straight to spreadingglobal.com and and register okay so you come over here there's login if you have already registered then there is register at this other point so the registration process is simple and straightforward no big deal at all so it logged me in because I am already registered, okay? So after your registration, it will send you an email verification link, go to your email, just verify, and it's simple and straightforward. So this is my own dashboard, you know, because I'm already registered, okay? Um, let's mute everybody's mic for now so that we get a clear sound. Okay, now. I'm just gonna show you guys two important things in Spreading Global. Every other thing you can find it out yourself. The first thing I'm gonna show you is the procurement and shipping section. So when I say this platform, it takes the stress off you. I mean, it takes the stress off you. So coming to procurement and shipping, you can create an order, you can save your order, you can check your pending orders, you can check your approved orders, pay for your shipping in Naira. So you don't have to kill yourself of you, you how to send money in Yuan, you know, to Chinese people. You can, you can check your product where they are. You can track it when it's in transit. You can know when it is ready for pickup until it comes to an end or until the order is completed. Okay, so this is a saved order of a uniform I was trying to buy. It is saved there. So clicking your creates order, starts the process, okay? So you give this order a name, a name you will want to identify your order with, and you choose the currency you want to buy with, US dollars or Chinese yuan. I prefer buying with US dollars because the site that I use, Alibaba, displays their products in US dollars. Now the destination country, where are you bringing it to? You choose Nigeria, okay? Then the shipping plan, is it normal shipping or is this 
um, by C, you choose your normal shipping, which is basically what you know we do majority. Then you put your address and you create your order. It's as simple as that. Now, when you click on create order, let me just put, I'm gonna show you this. Let's go. Order successfully created. So now, okay, now this is the interesting part of the whole process. Um, let's go to where we are going to shop from, Alibaba. I like to use Alibaba because they speak English. So 1688 is another site you can use, but make sure you're using a Chrome browser. Um, it's written in Chinese and you have to always convert to English. Let me just open all of them. 1688.com, amazing website. I use Alibaba a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? Um, so this is alibaba.com. Let's say we want to import ring lights. So you can see how you copy your link from here and send to Spread It Global, you know, for them to... So this 1688 is in Chinese, but you can easily change it to English page, alibaba.com. Um, let me just choose any product, any product. So right now, I'm not doing, I'm not checking whatever in Alibaba. I'm just showing you guys how to copy your links to Spread It Global. Okay, though from, from here, you can easily see who is verified and who is not verified. This guy here, ring light, food, grade, silicon, blah, blah, blah. He is not verified, <clears throat> okay? But this person is verified. In as much as he's not verified, he has been selling for two years, has a two diamond. This person has a three diamond verified and five years. So with all these little, little things, you can basically use it to know if you're talking to the real person or not. But trust me, some of them still scam people in one way or the other, all right? Some of them still scam. I Sometimes I prefer to read reviews from people instead of just using all this. So let's just choose a product. This looks really nice. Wow, that's a table ring light. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. So let's just choose that product for the purpose of this training. So this is the product here. And up here, up here where the URL, URL is, is the link for where this product is, okay? Up here, up here, up here. You can see up here, right? That is where the link is. So you copy that link. So it's like you're sending, um, you're sending Spready Global on an errand to come here and buy this product for you. Okay. So going back to Spready Global under our procurement, what's the product name? We we'll put ring lights. Now the product link, that link we copied from the product we want to buy, we paste it there. All right, product category, category A, if it, it contains liquid or battery, all this helps in calculating the landing cost because if it contains liquid, it doesn't come straight to Nigeria, they pass it from another country. But if it doesn't contain, fine. So contains liquid or battery category A, contains no liquid or battery category B. Ring lights do contain battery. Category B does not contain, okay? So look at now the explanation there. The category B, order will be shipped via Guangzhou and it takes a shorter time to arrive. Then, but if I choose category A, if it contains liquid, it takes a longer time because it passes through Hong Kong, okay? So let's choose, it does not contain no liquid or battery, right? Now, the reason why it's passing through Hong Kong is because of issues with clearing and all that. Okay, now product price in dollars. Remember we chose dollar when we started. So you come back to where that your product is and the product is we're buying between 10 to 500. So $2.28, you come back here, put how much is the product? $2.28, 2.28. Product quantity, how many do we want to buy? Let's say 20. Now what's the product weight? You go back to where the product is. This is the high diameter, blah, 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 blah. You have to get the weight of the product. 
which is usually down, 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 down. Okay, so um, the product weight is 286. You see it here, right? 286 grams. So we'll go back here. So what this is trying to do for you right now is to calculate your landing cost. Don't be excited about this $2 yet. You say, man, this ring light, only $2, two times, let's say 600, only 1,200 naira. Hey, I will buy and call myself 30K. Relax, $2 is not the price yet, okay? So important weight inf information, right? So product information, in case you want to tell them anything about the product, you know, it's fragile, be careful, so the light doesn't break or whatever else you want to tell them etc then we click add products okay so now look at that this system has done all the mathematics for you your ring light your quantity your weight the total price for the 20 is coming out at 45 dollars for the 20 so look at it um $45 or 27,600. Estimated shipping cost. It has done all the math for you. It has removed all the headache for you. So total, total weight is 5,720. That's for the 20 products. Selected shipping plan, normal. Shipping rates, $13 per kg. Destination Nigeria, port of exit, Guangzhou. It has done all the maximum, everything has been done for you. And they're using 600 naira for their exchange rates. So there, there are no surprises. Not when you now finish paying $2, when the thing will now arrive your destination. You'll be like, ah, where's all this money coming from? So they have already told you everything. Now let's see. The total cost is what? Um, total cost is now 74,000. What? Grand total, 74,000. No, what's happening here? 44 million. I probably touched something that is not right. Oh, I put weight in grams as kg. This weight is 286 grams. So we need to convert 286 grams to, we need to convert 286 grams to kg, which is what? How many kilometers make one messy see mathematics? I think it's now going to be two, two point eighty six. I be all the math students in the house. It did no no no, man. I can't feel how will it now reach forty four million? Okay, so I need to go back. I need to go back. That is totally wrong. So, but you guys get the point, right? So it does all the maths for you. It does everything. You see it at the end, and you can pay them with pay stack in Naira. And this product comes. Sorry, my system is hanging. This product comes to you. You know, underneath here it says pay via pay stack. This for a school uniform order that I placed. I think it was for five hundred or so hundred school uniforms. You know, for you know two million Naira. So you just click pay via pay stack or bank deposit you can also do your international payment sometimes you can have you can apply a, co a coupon code when they are doing discounts during easter christmas and all that and the price will reduce and that is all once you finish from here your order moves to pending order when it is approved you get a notification that your order has been approved okay after that pay for shipping and you now start tracking to see where it has gotten to when it arrives their destination ready for pickup pick up and Pack them, you're done with your stuff. Now, there's something I want to show you before you now come all the way to, before you come all the way to placing an order, you can just be um, using their calculator, this ELC, meaning estimated landing cost calculator. So you can be using this landing cost calculator to just be calculating before you now go into placing an order. So this just gives you quick, 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 you know, estimation. What you want to do is what a uh, shipping currency, US dollars. You choose the product cost. Let's just assume that the product cost is five dollars. How many kg? Let's just assume it is two kg. You know, quantity you want to purchase. Let's say it's fifty. You know, what's the shipping rate? Is nine Nigeria? 
you know? So here you can just calculate sharp, 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 sharp. And it is showing you the estimated um, landing cost for 50 of a $5 product. So on a very good day, 50 times five is $250. But your landing cost, because it's a 2 kg product, is $1,300. So from here, you will be telling yourself from the beginning, am I buying or am I not buying? This, this is now the price you use to calculate. So this product is $1,388 divided by 50. So it is a $27 product. But the cost of the product in the actual sense was actually $5. So if you plan with $5, you're up for a serious loss. Are we, are we together? So you cannot be planning your, your, you cannot get excited that it's $5. It's not $5, it's $27, okay? If it's not as heavy as a two kg product, let's say it is one kg or less, and you calculate it, it drops down by almost $500. So this tells you that the product you are buying, the weight matters. The weight of the product matters. The, the cost of the, the, the landing cost matters. So just because this product that is still $5 I've changed the, the weight from one kg to two, from two kg to one kg, $500 has been removed from the shipping cost. Okay, so these are surprises that people don't, things that people don't do ahead and they now wait until the product arrives in Nigeria, they surprise themselves. That's why products that you should use for importation are usually lightweight products. You sell nails, artificial nails, you sell wristwatches, you know, you sell things that are not heavy at all. I can buy 1,000 nails and it will just be inside one nylon and you come here and put a good markup on it and you make money. But when you now want to start selling things that are very heavy, like you want to sell tables and furniture and you're using air shipping, you're losing money already, no doubt. So if you want to sell furniture, of course, we know it is sea shipping, it occupies space, they dismantle it and put it in cartons and it comes to you, you know, like that, okay? So any question before we go back to our slide, because we have we still have a lot to cover. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Uh, yeah, thank you, ma'am. Please, I have a question. Okay. Okay, um, I'm based in the US. Okay. So I have an idea of importation and the process, but I keep asking, do these companies, do they ship to the US? I can do normal, normally I can ship maybe one or two items myself. But like, if I want to do like into business and yeah. I've been trying to look into how I can get large um, shipments from China to the US. I'm really looking forward to getting a logistics company that can help me do that. Spread, like spread it global the, ship to the US. There was a place I will show you guys that says, choose your currency. They ship to the US, they will ship to Amazon. You know, if you are in the US, the best place to sell is on Amazon. They can even from China directly to Amazon warehouse for you. All you do is sit down and collect your profits. So it was there. Yes, I, 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 currently, Sorry? I currently have an Amazon. So, I currently have an Amazon, uh -huh. so which I'm doing very well with. You mm -hmm. know? Um, not to say anything, but it's really, if, if you want to make good money, um, yeah, Amazon is a place. Yeah. So when you said importation, I was really interested because this year I wanted to look into other products because I'm into health products, which sells like crazy, but mm -hmm. I'm looking into other things, thinking of how to add more products. But getting them here to the US has always been my challenge, like in bulk mm -hmm. and making it cheaper because the, United the shipping, States, yeah. when you get a supplier and they tell mm -hmm. you the amount to ship some things, you just scream and say, wow, yeah. you know, it's really expensive when you're buying in bulk. Yeah. So I was really looking forward to getting um, a to the shipping States. company that can help me, mm -hmm. a logistics company that can help me ship at least at a reasonable price mm -hmm. to the They're US. To the United States so hopefully, and with yeah. what you said, okay. they Sorry. I'm going to you said they ship to the US, right? Because they I do, yes. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Okay. United States, they do. So but that's but the $25 per kg. So they ship to the US, yes. Then Tega, if you're still here, um, you know, you said you sell health products and you're looking for something else. My advice to you is stay there. 
remain in the health industry. For now, I don't think there's anything that sells better than it. Instead of going somewhere else, stay there and look for another product still in the health industry. For now, it's the highest selling industry. You know, so just an advice, just stick there, remain there. <laughs> okay, so um, I have to head back to my slide. So um, research validates that product and be sure somebody needs it. We did that yesterday. I don't want us to do it again. So you need to know the problem, the need you are trying you know, you're trying to solve or the availability of the demand for a product. Do not import something that at the end of the day, you end up giving it out as gifts because nobody's buying. So if there is no demand, if nobody needs that product, because yesterday I also explained there could be demand, um, there could be demand for some products, but some products, there might be no demand, but it's a product that is needed. You know, like products like this, you know, are products that probably five years ago, nobody would be searching for. But the products, can you guys see me? So like a product like this, five years ago or even three years ago, people probably will not be searching for it. But it's a product that is obviously coming to solve a problem of making you hands-free, okay? So... Um, yesterday I mentioned that if you're not if you have to sell a product that is not is not in demand because nobody is searching for it but it solves a problem you now have the responsibility of doing the advert and showing them how this is a lifesaver you understand so for products that solve the problem but are not in demand like people are not searching for it because people do not know it it is now for you to now do a video that will show you know, people, how this product will help them, okay? So if there's no demand and there is no, no need or no problem that it's solving, then no customer. Yes, if there's demand, yes, there's a need, then yes, there's a client and yes, there is money. So please, before you start ordering, don't order out of passion. Don't order out of excitement. Make sure that there's demand for it, okay? Um, my light went off. Okay, so um, carry out your your research. Check the traffic. Use Jungle Scout. Yesterday I talked about Jungle Scout. Though I didn't show you people Jungle Scout. Jungle Scout is for those that want to sell on Amazon. Jungle Scout is crazy. Let me see if I can show you guys briefly. Um, Jungle Scout is crazy. So what Jungle Scout does is when you subscribe, okay, uh, junglescout.com, when you subscribe and you search and you put on your, you know, your extension, your Jungle Scout extension, and you, that's Jungle Scout there. So you're all in one platform for selling on Amazon. So those of you that want to sell on Amazon, um, um, you don't have to be in the United States to sell on Amazon. I mean, that's what they say, but there's always a way around it, okay? So you can sell on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon and you have Jungle Scout, mine has expired and I did not renew because I don't need it again. I'm done with my validation and verification and all that. But if you search for a product, um, let's say ring light on Amazon when you have your Jungle Scout extension, Ring light, what is happening with me today? L-I-G-H-T. So if you have a Jungle Scout installed here, mine has expired. Now, without Jungle Scout, all you see is the price of the product. That's all you see. But with Jungle Scout, you see the price, you see how many people have bought it in, this, in the last month, you see how much this particular product has made. So you can easily tell you know, what product is selling and what product is not selling, okay? So it will just pop out underneath the product. I will, I will post on the group a sample of um, a Jungle Scout um, extension search 
on Amazon. I put it on a Telegram group so you will understand. So you just see the product, you see how many were sold last month, you see how much that particular product made. So you can just by looking at your Amazon page, just by looking at it, you can tell a product is selling and a product is not selling. To me, Jungle Scouts is crazy. But I didn't have to renew again. I think the last time I renewed was September or October. You know, when I was done with doing my search, I spent 60 days looking for products to sell on Amazon and I'm done with that. And my products are doing amazing. Okay. So back to my slide. Then the next one is a niche scraper. Another amazing platform. It is not free. So to me, it is better to spend money to do your research and get that winning product so that when you start selling, you start winning instead of jumping into any product without doing a research and you end up losing money because you did not check the market before you started. Okay. Again, pay attention to your environment, to comments, to compliments and complaints on social media. So another good way of doing research without spending money is going to the pages or social media pages of people that are already selling that product. Go to the comment section and see what people are saying. There's a product that um, a friend is about to start selling. So we went to um, competitors comment section and all we could see there is, Madam, we paid two weeks ago. You have not delivered. Please check your DM. I have paid. Please check. So the problem that woman had was ability to meet demand. So there was so much demand that the only negative comments on her post were related to, you're not picking your call. I paid two weeks ago. You have not delivered. Those were the only negative reviews. And to me, those are good negative reviews because it shows you that in as much as they are not able to meet up in as much as their customer service is poor, people are still paying because they want that product. So we knew for sure that this was a win-win product without any doubt, okay? So pay attention to your environment, pay attention to comments, complaints on social media could also be a pointer to letting you know what is right or what is wrong. Yesterday, we've already done answerthepublic.com. Just go to answerthepublic.com, type that product idea you have and see what people are asking, if they are positive or they are negative. Answer the public will not only give you an insight to what people are asking, it will also give you an insight to content you can create to answer questions that the public are asking. Answer the public is still free till now, surprisingly so. So just go there. We've gone there already yesterday. I don't want us to repeat. Then Keyword Search Pro, you know, is, is, all, is just almost like Answer the Public kind of, you know, it tells you what people are asking, questions people are asking, what people are searching for, all right? So order a product people are already looking for so that once you dive into it, you know, you're making your profit right away. So what is it going to be? What products are you going to buy and what products are you going to sell? With all this, you know, that we have done, you can go ahead and, you know, do what your own search. So the most important thing is understand you must not love or personally need the product. In fact, I don't like selling products that I will use. The first product I said selling that I'm going to use is weight loss products because I wanted to lose weight. So immediately I saw that, oh, I'm actually losing this weight. I'm like, okay, I know for sure that plenty of people want to lose weight. And once this thing works on me, it will be very easy for me to sell it to my audience because they are going to see the result on me. So th there, there are obviously exceptions to so many rules, but you know, it shouldn't always be about what you personally love. I remember when my husband started a fish business, fish pond, fish business, catfish business. It, it was such an amazing business because he doesn't eat catfish and I don't eat catfish. So thank God we were selling fish that we don't eat. So imagine if it was a fish that we all eat. One day you're hungry, don't go to the pond, but come carry one fish and eat it. So anyway, it's not always about what you love or what you personally need. Your research, in fact, you might end up seeing products that on a very good day, you don't need it for anything, but people need it. So why not buy it and sell it? Okay. So for a start, 
choose one product so that you can, you know, put all your energy into that product, your marketing budget into that one product. For a start, start with one product. When that product is doing well, especially when it's on autopilot, it's running on its, on its own, you don't have to be running up and down to fulfill products, you know, once you have succeeded with one and it's easier to calculate your profit with one product, it is easier to know your, your cost for shipping and all that with one product. But when you're now importing laptops and you're importing phones, you're importing plenty of things, you get confused, you know, how to calculate your profit and all that. Okay. So what is your profit margin? Calculate the landing cost. I've done that already. Then check, is it profitable? If I end up buying this product for $20, how much will I sell it? Will I still make money? Okay. Is it a common product or an uncommon product? If you're buying an uncommon product, just know ahead of time, you must invest in adverts to educate your audience about the product. So don't say, ah, Nigerians have never seen this before. I'm going to buy it and sell. You buy it and keep it thinking people will just come. You must tell them. You must show them because it's not a common product. But the advan there's also an advantage of selling on common products. The disadvantage is you have to spend money on adverts. You have to spend money on videos to demonstrate what these products do. You know, that's like a little... Con, pros, con, pros, and it's pros, and it's con, disadvantage, okay, okay. Now, the advantage is when that product starts selling, you will enjoy monopoly for a while, okay? You will enjoy monopoly. So anybody that needs, they can't just see the advert and now stroll down to the supermarket nearby to buy it. If they see it and they like it, it has to be you. So you're enjoying the monopoly, so you keep selling out, you keep selling out until people that are doing research now discover that your product is selling and they start competing with you. But as long as you are, you, because most, the mistake we make, especially here in Nigeria, when we're enjoying Monopoly, we are rude, we, are, we sound, you know, really nasty because we know you don't have a choice but to come back to me, you know? So you treat your clients anyhow because you feel they don't have a choice. But once they have a choice, they're going to leave you. So when you're selling on common products, and you start enjoying the inflow, make sure your customer service is ex exceptional. Make sure your customer service is top-notch so that even when your competitors start coming up, they still have a reason to trust you and want to buy from you. Okay? That's, that's that for that. So we've done all this, calculate the landing cost, know ahead of time what it's going to be, and the Spready Global Calculator. These are platforms you can search for. Now, on Spready Global, you are not only, you know, limited to this website. There are a lot of websites, even on the Spready Global platform, that you can use to locate and find other products, okay? Now, there's a website called thisiswhyiambroke.com. Thisiswhyiambroke.com is an amazing website that shows you products that are new in the market. So people that want to sell on common products, that is a website you should check out, okay? But you have to keep checking, checking. You might spend almost the whole night looking for a product there because there are so many products there that are so useless, okay? But there are a lot of winning products on that place. So if you see something and you know that for sure, this is a solution provider, you know, you get it from this is why I'm broke.com. Okay, so um, I'm going to skip some of this because it's something we have already done. And I mentioned that your career company can negotiate with you, but you can also negotiate yourself. You can chat with them. I have an entire a complete negotiation. I started um, sometime. Funny enough, these people are the ones that reached out to me in China. They saw a particular health product I was seriously promoting. You know, so they came to me direct and said they can produce this thing for me. You know, and we were chatting on WhatsApp. At some point, I insisted on a Zoom meeting. Like, let me see you guys. I mean, I mean, I want to see your factory. I wanted to be sure I wasn't talking to, I wasn't talking to manufacturer, be middlemen suppliers. I wanted to be talking to manufacturers. So these are all, you know, WhatsApp chats. I started this conversation on the 2nd of December. 
And as at 29th of December, we have already wrapped up. We've concluded everything done, including our packaging, our branding, because it's a white label company. They don't have a name, you know, for their products. They just have a company name. They don't have a name for their products. So you will be the one to, you will be the one to now, you know, mark, put your branding and market it as your product. Okay. So always negotiate. We kept negotiating they gave me a price i increased the quantity they reduced the price so yes just like niger then they negotiate them okay so i've mentioned all this already in the beginning make sure there's a sample order place a sample order if it's a health product place a sample order test run that product on somebody test run that product on somebody and make sure it works because if you order a bunch of health product that doesn't work then you're losing a lot of money. Have it checked and all that. I'm trying to rush, rush, rush because we have three things to do today. So this is the end of importation and we're going into creating our payment gateway and we're also going to do social links tonight. If, if our time is passed, we might move social links to tomorrow and join us with creating an online course and ebook course. They kind of go hand in hand, but let's see how far we go. Any question with importation before we move to um creating our payment gateway if for instance let me use you for example now you've been able to like maybe see seen a product like an health product that works is it possible like you're looking into distribution or you just want to have it like solely to yourself because i was actually looking for opportunities where i could see products that people already have and if they are willing to you know, if the product is selling or has potential to sell, if they could do like a distribution, so like a wider network where I could say, not franchise, but like say, tap mm -hmm. into it okay. and um, sell. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, you know, there are different ways of hustling. Sometimes people will do the hustle. You take off the stress we, because- We've done all the headache already. Yeah. Yeah, just puts a mark. Up, like mm -hmm. okay, this is my product it, it works if you were interested you want to sell oh okay i could do like a distribution for you you could sell it of because course. i'm actually really open to things like that this year instead of because mm -hmm. a lot of work a lot of work trying to do all the research and getting test run test run test run of course but if i already see someone or a project that is working then i don't mind diving into such and try my hands on it maybe on ebay or Amazon or something to see how it sells. Um, sincerely speaking, um, the answer to your question is yes, you can be a distributor, you know, and with the way it is going, with all the work we have put in, okay, when this product comes in, the first people to hear about it are going to be people on the Telegram group because okay. it's a product that works, it's a product that is highly profitable profitable but i don't want to though it's not my product it's something i helped a client to to bring you know okay but i helped them with everything from product branding packaging everything in fact Laura. it was something that i tried out as well and it's a good product so but i don't want to turn into a market woman i'm going to also be a yeah for them i'm going to okay. be a for them okay. and i am the one that planned the entire process and it's amazing. Okay. It's amazing. It's you. It's something you can buy for at about um, is it twenty dollars and sell for thirty dollars or so. Is it? I mean, it's it's amazing. The whole okay. payment distributorship plan. It's great. So yes, once okay. it's out, it's still not out. It's still not launched. It was supposed to be launched on the twenty fourth of January, which is my birthday, you know, but. I don't know if it will still be launched on that day, but let's see how it goes. If it comes out, an amazing product. Okay. And in fact, the competitors on Amazon currently, all their branding is what? That's why we okay. spend a lot on packaging for this particular product. Yeah. Yeah. So the packaging will make it stand out. The product is a good product, but those that are selling that same product, their packaging is there. In fact, all of them will just put sticker, sticker on the body of the product. But we okay. brought the body. It's it's amazing. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it in details right now. But it's no not, problem. It's gonna be launched soon. Yes. Yeah, so you can be a distributor. In fact, for 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 me, this year is, is my hashtag focus. 
you know i've been preaching yes. for since december that's my focus hashtag like this is the one thing i'm focusing on for this year funny enough in as much okay. as i have this business my bounce back business because it, this is like a ministry for me okay in yeah. as much as i have this business but that one is the very very business <laughs> and i will also use it as a tool to help people bounce back because people are confused they don't know what to sell. They don't know what to do. So instead of killing yourself doing all this research, just take and be making your cool yes. $10-$15 on every sale. And you know, and and the okay. good thing about it is that our adverts will also rub off on you. Okay, not everybody yes. in the states. Okay, not everybody is here. You might be, of course, I'm not in America, but our adverts will always, always have people in the US that want to buy and they end up coming to you. So it's yeah. really good stuff. And I can't wait for it to be launched, but let's just keep okay. it going for now. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Sure. Yes, hey, hey. Yes. How are you? You win award, though. You have been. The most consistent. <laughs> I think you and Jennifer. Jennifer, did I see you on the first day? But you have been, in fact, because of that. Am I branding for you? Oh, you've already won a brand now. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> that needs to be won. Nothing to win again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, I just want to find out how long does it take for your product to get to you after you have placed an order? Okay, placing or after your order is approved and you have paid for it, it's two to 14 days if it is air shipping, if it's coming directly from Guangzhou, that's it does not have liquid or battery. It's two to 14 days. But if it has a battery, it's going through Hong Kong. If, if it has liquid or battery, it's going through Hong Kong. So it takes up to 30 days actually. But if it is heavy duty by sea, we're looking at 60 to 90 days for sea shipping. 60 if it is not true Hong Kong and 90 if it's a true if it is true Hong Kong. So when you're planning for special seasons like for Christmas season and you want to buy a lot of stuff to sell, you know, you can now start buying or doing in August, September, then you use ocean and bring it in. So all these things requires planning so that you're not under pressure. Okay. Okay, ma. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now you can also do drop shipping. Okay. I have a free drop shipping course on, on YouTube already. You can do drop shipping with Ali Drop Ship. Ali Drop Ship. Now, Ali Drop Ship, in fact, they have an amazing package where they will create your drop shipping website for you. Though it comes at a fee, they create it for you. So the good thing about the shipping is that you're not investing in buying products. All you're investing in is in building your dropshipping store. So you see a product that is profitable, you see a product that is profitable, all you have to do is you create, you create the dropshipping store, you see a product for $15, you put it $40 in your store. When somebody buys it for $40, the dropshipping store itself is what notifies the suppliers of this product. Suppliers will deliver for you. So you don't get to see the products. You don't get to touch the product. You don't get to see the impact. You know they see the product at all. Okay? So dropshipping is an amazing business when you find good suppliers that sell products that are in high demand. Now, good suppliers in the sense that if the order comes, they need to deliver. The products must be good products because if anything goes bad, they don't even know who is supplying. It is you and your brand that they're going to come after. Okay. So when you do drop shipping right, drop shipping is an amazing business because you don't invest in buying products. You don't have an inventory. You don't invest in buying products, but you manage your customer service. You manage your customer service. Now, this is why I love Amazon, because if you do, Amazon has FBA, which means fulfillment by Amazon. Amazon has FBM, which is fulfillment by merchants. Okay. Fulfillment by merchants cannot work if you live in Nigeria, because you cannot deliver the goods all the way from Nigeria. So FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, is, it, it is so heavenly, because you do nothing. All you do is find the product and send the product to Amazon warehouse. Amazon keeps it in the warehouse, starts selling your products and gives you your, your own profits. But if you want to sell on Amazon, note, note this, Amazon charges are high. 
extremely high. So factor in those prices, use Jungle Scouts to find out how much Amazon would take per product. So you don't end up selling products and all your profit goes to Amazon as their commission. So if a product is $20, don't sell $25, thinking you have a $5 profit. Sell $40 because Amazon would take almost $8 and you know you still have a $12 profit. Okay, the first product I was selling on Amazon was a, a detox tea. You know, the company sells the product at, um, was it $54? And we are selling at $65. But I was not bothered about that profit margin because the company already pays me $20 for every product I buy. So for me, it was a good deal. So my profit on Amazon, Amazon carries almost everything and leaves only $2 for me. So that $2 is just for, you know, let's just be that money is coming because the company already is already paying me $20 for selling the product. So that's why sometimes if you find a product that works from a product-based network marketing business, you know, you do that business, not because you want to become a network marketer. You don't want to bring two and bring two and two or two, bring two. I, 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 don't, I don't have strength for that. I don't do it. But network marketing companies pay commission on product purchase. So I enjoy selling products that are owned by a network marketing system. Okay, so because the more I buy the products, the more the company is paying me commission and I'm now selling on Amazon or selling any other place. So I'm making profit on Amazon and I'm making profit from, from this company as well as commission. So when you see a network marketing business that has a product that is in high demand, please sign up to that network marketing company, sign up and sell their products as FBA, fulfillment by Amazon, on Amazon, as they are buying, companies pay you commission because it is network, they give you referral bonus and all that. So you're making massive sales. In fact, this is a, it's a killer profit making business. Network marketing that has a product that works, sell their products on Amazon, the sales keeps going on Amazon, companies pay you commission, it's crazy. It's crazy and it's amazing. Okay, so now, um, payment gateway. For us here, we have Paystack, we have FluterWave. These are the ones that you can set up for free without spending any money. Okay, but when you want to use things like Paystack and FluterWave, you need to have another platform in case you want to sell um, an ebook, although they have now introduced their product sale. So you can use Flutterwave to sell your ebook. You can use Paystack to sell your ebook, which I think is cool. All right. But things like online courses, you might now have to upload your video on YouTube, upload it as unlisted. I think I mentioned that yesterday, upload it as a private video on YouTube or on Vimeo. You know, then you now carry the link and now put, and you now say after payment, once payment is confirmed, send the link to them. They will now click the link and watch the video. It's also good. And it's what I advise for anyone that is starting, don't use a platform that you have to pay monthly when you're starting. It was a mistake I did with Shopify when I was starting. I used Shopify to sell my first bounce back ebook and I was busy paying monthly and nobody was buying my book. Okay, so it's better to use free platforms to sell your product when you're starting. When you now start making sales, you're making nothing less than a thousand dollars every month on sales, okay? You can now use platforms like Seller or platforms like um, Softlink or, or platforms like, I mean, there are so many of them that you can now use and automate your process, you know, and take the stress off you. So if you're making $1,000 every month, $15 monthly to pay for those services is no longer a big deal. But $15 or $50 or $99, depending on the platform you use monthly, is a lot of money if you're not making profit, okay? So to start with, you're gonna use Paystack or, or Flutterwave. Okay, let me just share my screen so that, okay? So um, is there anybody here that does not have a Paystack or Flutterwave account? Please in the chat box say, I have or I don't have. I have or I don't have. Paystack or Flutterwave. 
I want to see the response I have or I do not have. I don't have, okay. I don't have, oh my. Okay, I don't have, okay. Three, I don't, ah, ah. So how have people been collecting money? How do people collect money from your clients? Ah, ah, I don't have, are you guys kidding me? Triple J, how have you been collecting money from your clients? What, how do you, you? Mm. Hello. How do you collect money from your client? Oh. No, 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 no. That's not correct at all. Okay, so now payment gateways are, are great. It takes the stress off you. Um, although there are charges to it, but why I like them is that they don't get they don't get paid until you are you make money. They don't charge you until this network is really bad. Okay, so you're not charged until you are making money. I'll just take you guys through through this. They are paid. So this is Paystack. I started with Paystack. Um, after I wasted money on Shopify, I now had to have sense and come to Paystack. Okay, so this is modern online and offline payments for Africa. It helps businesses get paid by anyone, anywhere in the world. All right, it's simple and easy. So people can pay you with card, bank account transfer, US SD, etc. Okay, so you can build, put in your API means application programming interface. You can embed it into basically any platform. You can embed it into your website. You can embed it to your social links, you know, and take money from anywhere. Okay, so, you know, you're secured. I mean, they've been here for a long time. They power so many businesses. What I want to show you guys is that they are set payments. Oh, it's like they've removed that stuff. So I wanted to show you where they said, um, we don't get paid until you get paid. I wanted to calculate. Okay, yeah, it's, it's in their pricing. So to show you how they make their money. So this is it here. 1.5% um, for local transactions and 3.9% for international transactions. So let's do a calculation. Your product is 50,000 Naira. Okay, so this is what comes into your account. You'll be settled. They call it settlement. And settlement happens every 24 hours or less if it gets into a weekend. If it's on Friday, you got paid, you might be settled on Monday. But if you get paid on Monday, you'll be settled on Tuesday. You get paid on Tuesday, you'll be settled on Wednesday. So if your product is 15,000 Naira, Paystack takes 325 Naira. So they don't make money until you make money. Okay, so that's it. What you get settled with is 14,675. If your product is 2,000 Naira, they are taking 30 Naira from you. So what you get settled is 1,970. Um, I'm going to show you, and you always get notification. Based on receipts. So you see that you get all this notification whenever payment is made. So it's quite interesting, you know, and the good thing is that it shows you their name, their email address. So you can always call them and tell them, thank you. This was when I was selling one 1,500 naira course. It's so sweet. It's so sweet receiving this notification. Sometimes you go to bed, then you wake up now. I think I've increased to 2,000. Another one was 39, 39, 39, 3750. So some of these things are probably a 4,000 naira cost. You know, they take all their monies. Okay, no, it's 2,000, but your settlement is less 1.5%. Okay, so I want before the end of January, you should be receiving this kind of mails. You know, it's very sweet. Trust me, <laughs> plenty of them. Okay, so you receive mails like this, and um, they're actually fun, fun to receive, and all that. So let's dive right into it to show you guys how it works. Okay, so go to paystack.com. And click on 
create account, create free account. Okay, it's simple, it's straightforward. I'm gonna create a fresh account with you guys today so that you see how it works. Okay, so and we're gonna log into somewhere as well. I'm gonna log into the account I created and try to sell a product so you see all that. So for you in the United States, I'm not sure you can use Paystack, but you can if you have a Nigerian account and use your Nigerian address, but you can receive money from the United States, you can receive money from anywhere, okay? So I'll choose Nigeria, business name is blah, 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 um, BB Hub. So you put your business name there. Now, if your business is registered, it is better because you're gonna pass through the compliance stage where you will upload your company documents and, and all that. Okay, first name is, Vodina is already there. I'm gonna put my Indian name. I'm gonna use, which email have I not used here? Oh, Vodina Brasi at yahoo.com. I'm gonna put my number. I think I have almost all my numbers. I have plenty of Facebook accounts. Let me look for a number that is not very common. Let me, let me use my main number. It's eight to eight for the password. Okay, you must have. Okay, so what type of business do you own? A startup business? I'm testing my ideas with real customers. I'm preparing to register my company. But if you have a registered business, you select registered business. So if you don't have a registered business, go ahead and select that. But there might be limits to, you know, monies and amount of money you can take and all that. I'm a software developer. No, I am not. Okay, I consent to the collection and processing, blah, blah, blah. Then you click create your account. Is that easy? So you have to go to your email and verify that email. As I'm doing it, I hope you guys are doing it as well. So let's do it all together. So by the end of this class, you all have your Paystack account already. I just want to verify that email from another computer over here. Please, can you start all over again with the explanation? I'm stuck somewhere. Oops, oops, oops. I've already created an account, but it's quite easy. Go to paystack.com, click on create free account, fill in the information there and click create account. Then you go to your email, um, the email you put to go and verify that um, you are real. Just by- Okay, I'm still uh, the business name, what if it's not registered? Yeah, just put the name you want to use. Just put the name you want to use. Then you now select, I'm a starter. You know, there's an option there where it's, okay. it shows you, do you have a registered business or you're just a starter? So you now have to select that you are a starter. Yeah. Okay. I hope every other person is trying it out. Okay. So when you log in into Paystack, this is what the dashboard looks like an amazing, simple platform, and I am live. So if you have not uploaded your documents to do all your compliance issue, this place is not gonna be live, meaning that you cannot use this link. So the only thing is that you have to upload, you would see somewhere up here, this particular one has been verified. That's why I wanted to use a new one to show you guys how you, okay, I've gotten that link. So let me just verify, confirm this email address so I can use a fresh email was confirmed successfully. So I'm gonna log out of this. I want to use a fresh brand new one and show you guys. So I verified, I've received the email on another computer just to click the, um, just to click the, um, just to click the link there and it's just confirm you immediately. It's simple and it's straightforward. So your business is in test mode, okay? So you see the other one here had live, but here is saying test 
mode, right? So you have to fill all this information, profile, contact details, account number, and your documents. After you fill all this and submit, then it will now take a few days for them to now verify you. But if you want it to happen quickly, you can chat them up and tell them to verify you and they're gonna verify you. If you're not verified and you're still on test mode, your links will not work. Your links will not be able to receive money, okay? So your trade name does not necessarily have to be your company name. It's a trade name, the name you want to be known for, the names that will be appearing on your links, okay? Description of the business you do, your staff size, the industry you are in. I need to fill all this for me to be able to go to the next part. Okay, so I do training, um, staff size, one to five, industry, education. So, but make sure you put the right thing here. Put the right thing here, the right information. Category, virtual learning, business type registered. So for those that you're not registered, this is where to put starter business, okay? If you don't have your registration documents. So now here you now put your legal business name. So your trade name can be anything. Of course, I don't have any business registered as BB Hub, but if I want to use that BB Hub, I can put it there. But here I can now put the full name, maybe Bounce Back Hub Limited or whatever is registered. So that your registered name is what you now put you know, it's not what you put here, okay? Registration type. Sorry. Am I too fast? Sorry. Yes. Yeah, kind of. Is um, what did you put on your industry? Okay, so you have to choose your industry. What do you do? Work industry. What do you do? If it's buying and selling, okay. just choose commerce. If it's buying and selling, just choose commerce, okay? Um, Non-profits, logistic travel, utilities. You just look at all the options there and choose. But I chose education because, I mean, I'm just test running. It's not like I'm using this for anything, okay? So you can choose commerce if it's buying and selling. If you render a service, uh, that option is not even here. So just put commerce. I think of commerce covers everybody that is doing business, kind of, all right? So any other questions? So far, this is just your profile, you know, no, not the big deal at all. So registration type, incorporated company. If your own is just a business name, put business name registration. Please put the correct registration type here because the type of registration you put here will determine the documents that will ask you to submit. So what you feel here determines what you see on the page two. What you feel on page two determines what you see on page three. So if you say it is a business name and you go and submit an incorporated company document, then you're gonna have issues with compliance units. Okay? So I'll just put business name for the purpose of this, then save and go to the next. Okay, so it just shows you an overview of what is selected. If it is wrong, you can edit, then go to the next. So your email, you choose your email, email for your support. If it's gonna be the same with the mail here, just say use general email, okay? If you want disputes, you know, where you want them to resolve issues, still use general email. I will advise you open a new email for your pay stack. Sorry, I should have said this earlier because pay stack can send mail for Africa. You saw how my own mail was there, you know? So if you want to dedicate a new email for this, fine. Or if you have used that email already, you know, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but new email dedicated to this so that when you get big and you want to employ an accountant, okay, you just give that accountant access to that email instead of a person having access to your personal email, you know, because this is where you will resolve issues. Some people tell you they're paid, but they have not gotten the ebook. I paid, but I haven't done this. Is this email that you go through to check, you know, and all that, all right? So put your phone number, 
put your website if you have if you have twitter put it if you don't have you can skip all this because it does not have an asterisk phone number is an asterisk has, has an asterisk meaning it is compulsory you must put it disputes email they need all this but websites is not compulsory so if you don't have website you can skip it okay then you put your registered address your country nigeria okay your region rivers river states city port harcourt proudly port harcourt okay 25 ml street A is two. So office address, use your registered address, save and continue. It will show you a preview of, you know, all the information. If you say everything is okay, you go next. If you need to edit, you click edit. So go next. Now, this is the account number where they are going to settle your money into. Nobody pays you money directly to your account. Everybody paying you for a service using Paystack is paying Paystack. Paystack settles you, okay? So in as much as you saw my email, I was receiving 223939, it doesn't come like that into my account, you know? Sometimes it comes bulk. Sometimes, depending on how many people paid, it comes like that into your account. Settlement happens, you know, in bulk, Okay. So bank name, you put the name of your bank. Now, if you're collecting USD for Paystack now, they work with only Zenet Bank. I heard they will add more banks soon, but if you want to collect USD, you must have a Zenet Bank USD account. This is not an advert for Zenet Bank. I personally don't bank with them. <laughs> so yeah, it's not an advert for Zenet Bank, but to do Paystack, you have to have it in a bank USD, okay? So you put your accounts. <sighs> I don't even know what to put here because all accounts are just a very what something. Stambic, IPTC, you put the account number, account name, okay? So save and continue. Then the fourth part is where you put your documents, upload your CSC documents and all that and all that. Okay, so you see what I put in the account number was just V1, but the paystack has been able to verify that the account number is real. It has brought out the full company name and put it there. So if you put a wrong account number, it's gonna detect it at this point, you know, and all that. So here you will upload your application form, your um, business name, registration number, because I put business name as my registration type. If yours is not business name, if it's incorporated, it will be asking for RC number. So what you filled on page one determines other pages, like I mentioned earlier, then the business name, you upload all those things. Business name needs only one person, but incorporated company needs more than one person, more than one you know, director and all that, you add all of them here. So at this point, I have nobody to add. So I'm just going to save it here. So document saved. If your document is truly, truly complete, when you click save, it will now show you submit. You now have to click on submit to activate. But because I have not uploaded anything, you know, there is nowhere for me to click submit and activate. So when you click submit and activate, you can quickly contact them, send them an email, or you know, chat them up here, see support here, down, down, down here, go to support, tell them you submitted your documents, please check my documents and approve me. Then this test mode will now change from test mode to live mode, all right? So once you have your account, that's why I wanted to use a fresh account, but now I can go back to my already existing account because I cannot verify that one. Question? Question, question, question. Uh, yes. yeah, I hope they will not request for you to upload your, for, for instance, for those who are start, start up businesses, man, partners. 
for are they going documents no start a business no no you i mean you don't have the documents you know but there are going to be some things they are going to ask to verify you utility bill bvn you know things to just be sure that you're not planning to scam people with your payment gateway so everything you feel on page one determines the question they'll ask you on page two but they are basically simple things that you can you know easily give them utility bill to prove to show evidence of your address you know maybe you can use nepa bill or dstv bill you know things like that and it has to tally with the address in your account you know some simple simple compliant stuff in case KYC. kyc you know your customer yeah so simple stuff like that no big deal okay so to the left here now you have your dashboard right the first one is your transaction is an overview of the transactions you have collected. So from here, you can see people that have paid you. Now, the great thing about it is that you get to see, um, you get to see the people's name and their contact details. So if I, cl I clicked on that person's name, I'm seeing his email address. This is not right. I'm not supposed to be exposing people's details like this. I will, be, I will, did, I will blow it when I'm saving it for YouTube. I'll blog this information, okay? So that people will not come and sue me <laughs> for showing details. But you click on each name, you can basically find all the information on how the people paid. So this is amazing in managing your business, all right? Imagine your accountant is looking and he's saying, okay, your name is Mr. Collins, you paid with card. Okay, I see you paid on, 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 on the 8th of August by uh, 6, 21 a.m. You know, it's, 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 it's interesting to say the least. And now you can export this information. Maybe you want to send them an email, you know, to say thank you or to introduce another product or something. You can just come and say export CSV here and it will export it as um, an Excel sheet and you can copy all the email in one click copy the email, put in your email address and send them an email immediately. It's quite interesting. So these are your transactions. Here are your customers, everybody that has bought from you all the way to pages for as many customers you have done. Now, anybody that has asked for a refund, I don't think we've ever refunded. Yeah, we've never refunded anybody. Everybody's happy with us. So no refunds, but it's very easy to do a refund. You know, if you just click on the person's name and click refund, the money hits the account, you know, back. Paystack will pay them back, okay? then payouts are the the ones that has been now look at it you see that collins guy that paid me a hundred thousand this is what the payout that came into my account was it was what ninety eight thousand four hundred all these people here things were paid eight thousand or so what came no it was seven five what came was seven thousand two eighty six so these are the payouts these are the ones that have been paid the one that is not has not been paid will be shown here as as pending okay so this is how you know, you see your payout, then disputes. I've never had issues with pay stack, so I've not had to resolve any disputes. Now, transaction splits. What does this mean? I've not used this account for a transaction split, but I've used my other account, V1 account for transaction split. What does it mean? Let's say somebody wants to partner with me. They'll say, man, coach, I like what you're doing. Let's do a, a webinar together. You teach on business. Then me, I'll teach on how to import hair, start a hair business. It's a collab, right? We'll now say, okay, this collab is 50-50. As people are paying, we are splitting. We'll tell Paystack, I don't want, please, have they paid? Where's my 50%? No, we will split it on Paystack. As somebody is paying us 20,000 for the cost, 10,000 is going to you, 10,000 is coming to me, Shikina. So it makes life easy. You just split the transaction and, you know, as people are paying, everybody's getting their money and everybody's happy, okay? Um, other accounts, these are all the people I've partnered with. So when I want to split, it's, it's okay. Now see this split. Oh, I've actually done split to this account. Okay, I've partnered with plenty of people. Like I said, I'm going to blow this when I'm taking it live. So you see, all my splits are 50 percent. I do, I do, you know, trainings with. I collaborate with people. I can collaborate with any one of you if you want to collaborate with me, right? But um, yeah, terms and conditions apply, and you have to also be careful when you want to partner with people. Okay, so that you don't get into trouble partnering with the wrong person. So I did a 50% split with all these people. So it was very easy. Money comes to me, money goes to them. Nobody's fighting over anybody. 
Now subscribers, I don't have any subscriber because I don't have anything that needs subscription, but on my seller, I have subscribers. Those that subscribe to my monthly graphic design, you know, it's great. So you can create your subscription. Maybe you render a service that people have to pay you every month. You now create a plan where people do that every month. So, but I don't do that on Facebook. I do that on seller.co. So every month, there are people that I supply graphics to 50 graphics or to five graphics every month. So it's not on the second. I'll now be opening an exercise book and say, ah, this company, Triple J, needs to pay me. Where is Triple J? Oh, yeah, Triple J, have you paid? No, you put your card details. Jane, I hope you're listening. Um, Jane Maxwell, I hope you're listening because you we talked about this. It just debits them when the day reaches, I don't need you, whether you're my friend or you're not my friend, as far as your card is there, every 30 days, your card will be debited for me to continue rendering you that service, okay? So different um, plans and subscriptions. Let's just jump that. Um, I wanna go to commerce. This is an important part because this is a substitute for owning a website or owning an online store this is just amazing. So here you can create your online store, okay? Payment pages is the first one here, all right? So let's say I have this course, six days made by dollar webinar, okay? So if you want to create a new page for receiving money, you just come to new page. Those are existing pages. Now, this money you want to collect, is it a one-time payment? or is it a subscription payment or is it a product payment? So if it's a one-time payment for things like maybe um, for a webinar or a live or an online course, it's a one-time payment, they are paying once, you choose this. If it's subscription, which they have to be paying every month, like I mentioned, people are subscribing to a particular service, maybe laundry, you're a laundry person and you wash clothes without collecting money, let the people just be paying monthly, this is what you use. Or if it's a product payment, you're selling hair, you're selling a product, you choose, okay? So one-time payment, I'll just choose for the purpose of this. What's the name of the page? Um, I'll just say um, bounce back in 30 days, BB in 30 days. So this is what I use in creating my payment page for my bounce back description, a platform where people learn, blah, 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 blah. You put all that. Then you now put an image, image that will show when the links are sent. You see the way I send my YouTube links, you see an image show. So an image that I put here, I'm just gonna put any image. Do I have any bounce back image here? I think I should always do. Or well, let me just use any image. This monetize your brilliance or whatever. I'll use that image, I'll just upload it here. So I want a fixed amount. My bounce back in 30 days, there is a fixed amount, okay? So it is going for 25,000 Naira. Now, although it is well, or let me just call this monetize your knowledge. So everything will, will just tally. Monetize your knowledge. Uh, is that not how to spell monetize? I beg. Okay, so do I want phone numbers here? You can choose to collect phone numbers or not. Let's still go to advanced option now your custom link. The link you're going to be sending to people is always paystack.com slash pay slash. You can now say maybe monetize the name of the program or whatever you use. Monetize. Somebody, okay, it's available. Monetize. So this is going to be my link that I'm going to be sending to people for them to click to pay. When you guys registered on seller to come on this program, after paying, although you didn't pay, but after clicking that you have paid, it brings you straight into the Telegram group for those that registered, okay? So after they pay, where do you want this thing to take them? A WhatsApp group or all that? You copy your WhatsApp link. I'm sure you all know how to copy your WhatsApp and Telegram links. If you don't know how to say, I don't know how to, I'll show you. I'll connect my phone and show you. You copy your WhatsApp link. After you have created a group, okay? Let them not just chat you directly. Create a group where everybody comes into, but Telegram is really better so that images does not keep saving on people's phone, okay? So you put it here where you want this thing to redirect people to. What do you want it to tell them after they have paid? Thanks for payments, I appreciate you, or thank you for believing in us. Whatever you want to write there, just write it there, 
okay? Send notification to email address. You choose the email address where you want them to send a notification to. If you're doing splits, this is where you put the split group. So you have to choose the sub account. Remember here in sub account, you choose the sub account where you wanted to pay the person. So me, I already have plenty of people in my sub account. I could just choose one person there and say, okay, split. That's if you're splitting, but if you're not splitting, there's no need for this, okay? Then percentage, blah, 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 et cetera. Remove sub accounts. I'm not sharing money with anybody. <laughs> then you create. So once you've created this, could not create this page, slug already exists. What already exists? What already exists? Monetize your brand does not exist. What already exists to blah, 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 blah. What is slog? Slogan. Monetize. Okay. It was the monetize that already exists. So now this is my link. Okay. So you can just click here to copy the link, copy link and send to anybody. This is the link you can put in your Instagram bio. And when we say click link in bio, they'll click link in bio. They'll just click on this and pay you know, the person Why not? and pay the person directly. But I'm teaching you guys social link. I think that social link will be tomorrow because we've taken a lot of time today. Don't just send people to a place to pay. Don't do that because people that know you, they can pay because they know you. But what if you run an advert? It is strangers that are coming to you. So send them to a landing page first that will use to convince them. We're doing landing page, I think day five or so. So from your Instagram to a landing page, from the landing page, when they now want to buy, they can now come to your payment page. Don't send them to payment page directly. But let's visit this page that we just created to see what it looks like. So look at it now. I'm sure you have seen this so many times. You're trying to buy something online. You have come to this point. Now you have created your own. So somebody will now put their name, their last name, email address, and they'll say pay now. So let's try to buy this. Let me use whose name now. Let me use this name to try to buy. And I'll say, because I, I chose fixed payments, you cannot change this. It's 25,000, it's 25,000. So you now click on pay now. Okay, you see that? So the person can now pay with their card, or with bank transfer or USSD, whatever. Once this payment goes through, you receive an email in 24 hours, it is settled into your account. It's truly amazing to say the least. Okay, any question thus far? Are we still together? Thank you for your teaching. Please, yeah. I don't know how to create the WhatsApp link. Oh, really? Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to show you. It's quite easy. I don't okay. Still. Okay. I'm going to show you guys that. And also, I got lost in, in opening the stack account. I got stuck somewhere along the line. Yeah, you can always watch the videos. I mean, is it is the way I'm saying it? You can watch, pause, watch, pause, play. It's a simple step by step something. Very easy, you know. Oh. So the video is recorded. Abby, I'm recording, yeah? Yes, I'm recording. So you will, you can still watch it, but it's, it's easy. I don't want to repeat so that people don't have to, you have a long video to watch, okay? So remember here, I came to payments pages. This is how you take payments. Then the next one is products underneath here. So if you want to create a product, now these are products I have sold using Paystack. So you can sell anything, basically. You see, I do I do a lot of health products. I have a business called Healthy Shopping Hub. I do a lot of health products. To me, if you're looking for business to do in 2022, go to health. Trust me, you'll be selling without even doing adverts because people need all these products, okay? So um, if you go to products, you can now new products, you click new products, the same procedure. What's the name of the product? Description of the product, the price, what quantity do you have? So if you have bought 10, put 10, so that when the 10 has been bought, it will now automatically automatically change to out of stock. Not when you have only 10, you now can put uh, unlimited. You now can put unlimited. People will now be ordering, you will not be able to deliver. So always put the amount you have so that when that 10 has finished, anybody that wants to buy, it will just show out of stock, okay? When you restock, you now come and 
edit it again. This product contains one or more physical products. If the physical products, you select it. If the digital products, you don't select it. You click next. So creating all these pages are simple and straightforward. I love storefronts. Storefronts is like creating a website. Storefronts is like creating a website, basically. Let me preview this one. I don't know if I finished it. Now look at this store. This is this not looking like a website. So you can create your storefront. This is what people see when they want to buy. So they'll now click on this product and they'll now buy the product. They increase the quantity. It is just amazing. So creating a storefront with Paystack is like, just like the, not, the name says, storefront, okay? Where people come to shop, okay? So you click on storefront. These are two stores I've created. I think I use this one to teach somebody one-on-one. -on -one, so it's not really perfect. You know, I even put some colors and all that. Okay, so it just comes to new store. Okay, the name of the store, the currency, store link, and you create. You choose your store link, put the name of your business, and you create. But before you create your storefront, make sure you've uploaded your products because you will need from here products. Make sure you upload your products because you will need the products to do. In fact, let's create a storefront. What am I even doing? I'm trying for this video. Oh, we've, gone, we've done two hours already. I don't want the video to be too long. Stuff from let's say hair, hair factory or whatever it is, Naira and of hair factory is good. We create that stuff from. So we have created a stuff from. So now you see, it's now asking me for products, new products. So you have to upload all your products, new products, name of the products, prices, description, prices, blah, blah, blah. You click next. So all those, let me just create a product and say hair one um, is a bone straight. Okay, the amount is 100,000. I have Hello. limited, yes, I have 20 in stock. Is a physical product. Next, then it will ask you to upload the picture of the hair. It, it will show you the, a place to upload the picture of the hair. So you should have all your pictures already. I'm not sure I have any hair picture. So I'm just going to upload anything. I'm just going to put this laughing emoji as my hair. Okay, you upload the picture of the hair. So this is not just a laughing emoji. This is hair right now. <laughs> okay, you upload that and you save. Okay, so... I've added my products. You see that? I've added my products. You can customize your storefront, give it colors, make it look good. You know, you can edit all this information. Delivery, how much do you want to put for delivery? What's the delivery notes after purchase? What do you want it to say to them? Success message, thank you. So you can create your mini website using storefront. If you want to preview what it looks like, click on preview here. Click on preview there to see what you're creating, what it looks like. Add more products, add prices, preview. Just keep going on and on and on. And it is so, so, so amazing. You might have to watch this video again and again and again for you to do it. But this is something you can get started with immediately immediately and if it's a digital product that place i selected physical on select it you can do a digital product upload your pdf version of your ebook people will pay and download your book so you can in this january write a simple 10 page 15 page simple book sell it 500 naira sell it 700 naira 1000 naira and 1000 people buy 1000 naira worth of book is a million naira it is a million naira so when people say I made 1 million, I made 2 million, they are not lying. That's why I showed you people my emails. You people have been seeing all the payments I've been receiving. So it is not, it's not wash, it's not scam. People are making money. Give value. You have, you have con um, phone number of a manufacturer, you know, or somebody that you've been doing business with for years. Tell the person I'm going to refer people to you. Put his number and say, this book will give you the secret of waiting, waiting, waiting. Put it at a small price, depending on the value you think you're giving. 500, 1,000 to just start up, you know, and people will sign up. And now, people signing up for your 1,000 Naira product, it's not just for you to make 1,000 Naira times 
how many people buy. What else does that give you? When you sell cheap products, what else does that give you? All of you that signed up for this pro event, you did not pay me one Kobo, but guess what? I have all your email addresses. Tomorrow, when I know that, I say, for these people to like this, my free training, they will like something like this that I might be selling tomorrow. I've gotten your email address. Somehow it's a lead magnet. So selling low cost ticket courses gives you access to having people's contact. So they are just buying books, 200 naira, 500 naira. You're gathering email. I have more than 10,000 email addresses. You know, so because like I said, when I started on the first day, this course, I've never done this before. I was test running. So I didn't run an advert. I just posted it on Instagram. I didn't, I didn't even put it on Facebook. I didn't send an email to anybody. I just wanted to start small and see what it's going to look like. The next one, I can now blow it up, you know, but I have over 10,000 emails that if I send them an email, because these are people that know me, they have either bought my book or bought my course, they know the value I render. If tomorrow I tell them that because they have bought from me before, I have a special discount for them, 70% off on this, 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 that. Sometimes, sometimes as a, as a digital um, creator, you just need money for something. Honestly, I'm being real with you guys right now. You just need money for something. And you know that, okay, there's a book I have where I've been selling this book, 7,000. If I give it to my audience for 1,000, and I have 10,000, more than 10,000 email address. And I say, okay, this book that you have been quiet for, that you know that it is 7,500, all of a sudden, I want to give it out for 1,000 naira. If 10,000 people buy a book of 1,000 naira, let's say the whole 10,000 don't even buy. 5,000 people buy that book of 1,000. That's a 5 million naira. 5M. Okay, because you just want some sharp, sharp money. And it's a digital product. You're not buying anything. It's a book you've already written. The book is there. Whether you sell it, you don't sell it, it's just there. Okay, so you see why this January, people target for everybody in this our group. This January is one millionaire. You must make it and screenshot and send it to me. You must make a millionaire minimum in this our Telegram group. Minimum one millionaire. Everybody must make it. It's possible, it's achievable, it's attainable, and we will use it with digital products because there's something you know that the world needs. Give it to them for a very low price. This class, if I had even put 5,000 naira, some people could have still paid, and that's the truth. But it was a strict instruction that it has to be free. I still don't know why that instruction came, but I'm obeying a divine mandate. All right. So, but if I put 5,000 in this course, you'll pay. If I put 10, you will still pay. But my point is you can do it. You can even repeat what I have been saying and sell. Like you can, basically. So question, we have to end this class now. We've stayed, done, it's two hours on the dot now. So we will have to move ebook to social link tomorrow and all that. So questions, we have to call it a day, but I need questions. I know there's a lot today. That's why I can't teach something else. There's a lot. So I have to save this video. I have to edit it because of all those people's contact. I'll blow some areas. I will cut some things out, edit it, upload it, go watch it, post play, post play. You can even download it so you don't waste your data. Download it, post play, post play, watch it, do it, and show me your product that you're about to sell. Let's take questions now. The one link. Sorry? My you said you are going to show, show me how. What's happening? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I have to join with my phone. It's very, very simple. My phone there. Um, let me start with Telegram. Okay, are we there? Yes. All right. So these are our our Telegram chat. So I'll now go to the top that says my first seven days project. I'll click there, go to, it. okay, edit. So that's it. You go to edit, top right, click on edit, invite link. That's the link there. So either you click on the dot, dot, dot by the side of the link to copy the link, or you can share the link directly. So this is how you get Telegram link for your group. 
And of course, I believe everybody knows how to create a Telegram group. It's simple, open your Telegram, come to top right, new group, choose one person. One person must be there, then new group, choose one person. One person must be in the group, choose one person. Uh, charity, I choose you. Well, next, put a group name, testing. Testing, then you create. So that's it. I've created a new group. Very simple. Did we get that? Did we get yes. that? Yes. Yes. Thank you. So you now click the top, top of the, the, the top of the name testing up there. Click edit, then invite link. So this is the link you share to people that people will come straight. So this is also the link you put in pay stack after payment. It brings the people directly in here. So this is for telegram then whatsapp um whatsapp you create new group just top right here new group choose one person as well uh charity sorry today you're <laughs> go next choose the name of the group you want to create testing okay then top right create group you can always put picture of your event flyer or something you know then you create a group you know if i've created a group i'll click that testing the name top up there then um you scroll down why is it people so slow okay you slow, scroll down scroll down you see invite to group via link have you seen that invite to group via link you click it so that's the link there you either share, either share link, copy link, you know, or etc. So share the link or copy the link, copy it and then paste it in paste stack. And that is how you have your link to all those things. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Zoom and stop share. And I'll make my other laptop. And um, I mean, any question? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma. Go ahead with your question. Please, can you hear me? Yeah, I want to click this. Now, those of us that missed yesterday's live class, and we're working on our YouTube channel, and there was a place you mentioned that. Uh, we are not sure of what to write and all that. Can we submit at the Telegram group before we go ahead and upload and all that? I'm not sure I understood that. Can you take it again, please? Okay, what I'm trying to say is I, I've created, I'm trying to create my YouTube channel after yes. watching the video of the class. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look and um, present the name to you. You know, in the class, we made mention of what you want to talk about that you don't know what you really want to talk about that we should those in the class should yes you know so i'm pleading for those of us that were not in the class and we no, you don't have to plead go ahead go ahead drop it in the group everything anything yes anything go ahead mm -hmm. drop it in the group yes okay any other okay i can stop this recording now and we'll just continue so that um we don't have plenty, plenty things to upload. <laughs>